Our country is blessed with rich natural resources, but sadly, we have repeatedly squandered these gifts. We are destroying nature's fragile treasures over time, but there is still a glimmer of hope. In this series, we take a look at various protected areas throughout the archipelago to learn the stories of the land, how it was once neglected and abused, and how it is slowly being renewed. This is Loren Legarda, and I present our Fragile Earth, Protected Areas of the Philippines. This was once an exploited marine ecosystem where destructive fishing practices were rampant. Damaged corals remind its community of the many years of senseless abuse of resources and how it led them to a journey of transforming this natural wonder into a marine sanctuary that it is today. Sagai Marine Reserve is a 32,000 hectare territorial waters categorized as protected landscape and seascape under the National Integrated Protected Area System or NEPAS of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. The Sagai Marine Reserve is composed of the islands and islets of Molokabok, Molokabok Diut, Matabas, and Suyak. The extent of the marine reserve covers more than half of the surface area of Sagai City's marine waters, with more or less 500 hectares of mangroves and more than 100 hectares reforested. Sagai Marine Reserve is a, uh, an area with more or less 3,000 hectares of uh, seagrass beds. So of this area, uh, there are so many marine resources that can be found in this area. The livelihood also of the six coastal barangays and of Sagai City depends on the Sagai Marine Reserve. Sagai's crowning jewel, the Carbon Reef, a 20-minute boat ride from Old Sagai Port, features a unique tongue-shaped sandbar with immaculate clean waters that offer attractive options such as boating, swimming, and snorkeling. Uh, there are so many success uh, and, uh, and uh, there are so many marine life there that are back already, like the clams. They are big now and they are getting broad stock from the area. Broad stock of clams, broad stock of, of abalone. However, the success of Sagai City's marine conservation programs was soon followed by threats from poachers and illegal fishing operators within the region. Uh, sa diri bali nagyan amon diri nga ginabatuan kami sang mga illegalista labi na ini nagagamit sang dinamita kaga may ari kami diri isa ka tower nga konsentiin nga uh, ginsulod man sang uh, nagapilala man nga NPA uh, people point fingers at different groups you know nobody wants to say that it's coming from Sagai people say that there's groups coming from outside of the municipality, doing the dynamite fishing and cyanide fishing and different other illegal methods. To address threats to the environment, the Bantay Dagat constantly patrols the protected seascape with the help of the DNR. Uh, the, the project uh, provided funding for, for law enforcement training. Uh, we know for the fact that uh, Sagai Marine Reserve has uh, 35 members of Bantay Dagat and these are uh, usually trained and uh, enhance their capacities and capabilities in terms of uh, coastal and marine law enforcement. The island barangay of Bolokabok thrives on a local innovation called sea ranching. Introduced by Governor Marañon Jr., artificial habitats are created on tidal flats in the sea. Marine organisms such as coral polyps, Invertebrates and algae settle and grow on these underwater structures and serve as food for various fish species. Fish are lured to these artificial structures and in three to four months, they are able to harvest 20 kilos of mature fish. On the island of Suyak, 
a community-based mangrove ecopark was created. It is home to the old and big mangrove species of Soneracia alba, or pagatpat, as commonly called by the Negrenses. The mangroves do not only serve as buffer and protection against natural hazards, such as storm surges, but also offer a venue for ecotourism activities of the community, which provides extra income to them. So hindi po natin masasabi na yung mga fisherman ay araw-araw po may income. So ito po'y binigay sa amin ng city para po makatulong kami sa mga husband namin o sa pangangailangan namin sa pangaraw-araw. The environmental commitment and innovative ideas of the local government have made Sagay Marine Reserve one of the most successful marine conservation programs in the Philippines. In 1997, Sagay City received the prestigious Gawad Galing Pook Award. Pinaka-important gift ni sa amon nga community kay dire ka mi gakuha sang adlaw-adlaw nga amon ginakaon kag ginabiskwela sa amon kabataan. Kag dire ka mi halos kada adlaw gid kakuha sang mga pag pang amon mga ginabakal sa amon adlaw-adlaw nga maka-eskwela man ang kabataan. Itutuloy namin sa pag pagbinuligay sa kada association, pagbinuligay sa mga tao, ini mapadayo namon nga mga buluhaton sa pagproteher sa kadagatan, sa mga resources, sa dagat, mga kahoyan. Like the Visayan says, it's a big, huge misfan. Uh, if we'll just uh, conserve it and do not destroy it, just uh, let nature uh, uh, stay and uh, from an exploited marine ecosystem to an exemplary marine sanctuary, Sagay Marine Reserve should be an inspiration to other protected areas and natural ecosystems in the country. A living proof that the protection of our natural resources is possible with a government that has vision, strong political will, and a community that values nature and environment. <laughs>